Volvo from Trailer Trash, and today I'm going to be sealing our client's Airstream, a 96 Airstream Accela. It's a hot one. It's not preferable to get up on this roof today, but we have rain in the forecast, so we need to knock this out. So what I'm going to be using is a kit that comes from Airstream. It's um, the company itself. And I got a box full of stuff. So it's got some 100% silicone. And they recommend this around the external roof components. So that's your AC unit, your direct TV, your antenna or vents coming through the top. Things you won't see. Um, that's a good thing to put around the edges of that. Now, the heavy duty stuff for the metal to metal seams, the windows, the compartment doors, your running lights, your water, uh, water uh, where you put your water in basically. Uh, they use this stuff called a krill R. And it's heavy duty, but to apply it, they send a applicator with a fine tip. So you just go along the seams and, uh, and seal her up. So I'm gonna take you along with me. All right, just a few notes. Anytime you're using a sealant with an expiration date, let me see if you can see that. It's probably best to use gloves. So I got some gloves and some towels in case we got a little mess and we're about to go up on the roof and it's a hot Texas day today. It's gonna hit high 90s and I'm already feeling it. So let's knock this out. So for the order of attack on this is start at the top. That's where you're gonna have your most rain exposure that's when you have the most amount of sealant to start with. So start on the top seams, go around the top, and then work your way down the seams on the side. So up we go, try not to fall. Now one of the important things is when you're walking on the roof of an airstream, follow the rivets. Those are your ribs. That's what those rivets are riveted into. So don't step on the middle. It's actually quite soft. You'll hear it give a little bit. So make sure not to crunch in your ceiling when you're doing this. Um, my ladder's at the back, so we're gonna start at the front and work our way towards the ladder. I just wanted to show y'all real quick. This is what happens when you use crap adhesive um, or sealant. Sorry, you can peel it away, which isn't good. That's why it's good that we go through, take out what we can, and, um, and replace it. So I got to get this out before I put the sealant in. And um, I've already done the whole front side of the trailer. I didn't want to waste your time just watching me do it. So uh, I'll show you all updates as we go. So it is a hot one here in Texas. Wow. My sweat is hitting the top of the Airstream and it's sizzling. But that's part of the job. Wet hands. Gloves are not ideal on hot days. All right, everybody. I probably look like death. So I uh, took my gloves off uh, because they were sweating so bad. And then my hands got all tacked up from the acrylar. So I wasn't able to touch my phone and show y'all other videos, but I got the seams done with the acrylar, so the metal on metal, compartment doors, windows, all that stuff. And I'm gonna have to let that set up and dry. I'll probably have to come back tomorrow and do the silicone for the uh, units on the top because all the seams from metal to metal are where I have to walk. So I can't really get back up there unless I'm gonna be stepping on the, the seal and I just put in. So um, that'll probably conclude this video, but I uh, wanted to show y'all kind of what, what I was doing today. So I hope y'all enjoyed it and I'll, I'll have more videos coming your way soon. Bye.